Chapter 661, The List of Top 4. The matches on the third day were even more ferocious. The top 16 competitors met in crazed collision as each battle reached a fever pitch. Sage Realm cultivators were no longer protected today, so they were destined to meet each other in battle. Indeed, Zhang Chen drew a Sage Realm opponent, one from the walkabout sect. This person was a bit similar to Wei King. His name was Wei Gong, and he had a similar bearing to Wei King, but his strength and cultivation was much stronger than Wei King. Even so, he still wasn't as strong as Wang Han. After exchanging a few rounds with Zhang Chen, Wei Gong did not think little of forfeiting. He, he knew that he'd end up worse off if his opponent went all out. He knew full well that he wasn't Mu Jiaqi's opponent. The fellow had easily taken out even Wang Han, much less than a Wei Gong. As a result, Zhang Chen smoothly advanced to the top 8. Shen Qinghong was also quite lucky as he drew an opponent at peak 9th level Origin Realm. His path to advancement was equally easy. Ling Byer maintained her good luck and met another peak 9th level Origin Realm genius. She once again pulled through after a difficult battle and advanced to the top 8. One had to know that in the top 16, there were 11 Sage Realm geniuses and 5 peak 9th level Origin Realm geniuses. She was one of those 5, so she only had a 4 out of 15 chance to select an Origin Realm opponent, yet she'd done it. In this regard, an odd situation developed for the list of top 8. Half of them, a full 4, were from the Regal Pill Palace. Three spots were taken by the Great Cathedral, and the last was the Dark North Sect genius Lin Hai. Both the walkabout sect geniuses had been very unlucky. One had ran afoul of Xiang Qin, and the other Zhang Chen. The list of the top eight was comprised of Xiang Qin, Yu Bei, Lang Jiuling, Mu Jiqi, Shen Qingong, Jun Mo Bai, Ling Bai'er, and Lin Hai. No one was surprised that there were three from the Great Cathedral, but the four from the Regal Pill Palace greatly astonished everyone. Setting aside Dark Horse Mu Jiqi, Shen Qingong and Ling Bai'er had made it into the top eight purely based on luck. This luck had also been a result of the Sacred Sword Palace withdrawing. If they hadn't, then there wouldn't be that many Origin Realm cultivators in the top sixteen, and no such luck of the draw to speak of. The Regal Pill Palace's strong luck had gained them a massive advantage in the end. However, Jun Mobai's performance also slightly startled some. He'd been able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe and eliminate first genius Yuan Yuan of the Sacred Ape family of the Great Cathedral. Although this genius didn't boast of a particularly strong combat ability, it was still unexpected that he'd been defeated by newly ascended Sage Realm genius from the Regal Pill Palace. And thus, there were many unexpected developments in this list of top eight. No one had thought that the least favored fourth rank sect, the Regal Pill Palace, would in fact become the biggest winner. When they thought back to how the Great Cathedral had wanted to rebuild the Myriad Empire before the matches, and how certain they'd been that they would be the champions, it certainly didn't seem like things were developing in that direction now. The Regal Pill Palace was a dark horse that looked poised to defeat the Great Cathedral. Folks couldn't help but think whether the Great Cathedral's painstakingly created atmosphere would eventually just benefit the Regal Pill Palace. After all, they'd all voted that the champion of the Myriad Grand Ceremony, the top genius of the Myriad Hidden Dragon rankings, would have the right to control the Imperial Jade Seal and Guardian Dragon Seal. Back then, it had seemed a foregone conclusion that Xiang Qin would reign as champion but things didn't seem that straightforward anymore. The most promising challenger, Wang Han, had been forced out of the competition, but an even crueler candidate had emerged in the form of Mu Jiki. Mu Jiki's strength was unfathomable, and his true trump cards had yet to be revealed even now. It was still unknown whether Xiang Qin would be able to overcome Mu Jiki's challenge. So therefore, the situation could now be summed up as, a mess. It was complete chaos, and the champion's seat was now a royal scramble. Nevertheless, the matches continued their inexorable march. The atmosphere for the draw for the quarterfinals was a bit tense. After all, this would determine the top four. The first name drawn was Ling Bayer. When her name was drawn, everyone clamored loudly in their hearts, hoping that they would be paired with such an opponent. However, the one lucky this time was one of the Regal Pill Palace. It was Jun Mobai versus Ling Bayer. Lin Hai's name was selected next. He was quite unlucky to be matched with Xiang Qin of the Sacred Elephant family. Honored Master Tian Ming pounded his chest in great dejection. How he wished that Lin Hai would face Ling Bayer, the only origin realm genius left in the field. That would guarantee his placement in the top four. What a pity. Mu Jiki was drawn again, his opponent selected as Lang Jiuling of the Sacred Wolf family. Shen Qingong was up against Yu Bei's of the Sacred Lion family. The crowd erupted in a furor when the names were drawn. Each match's conclusion was already certain. Although Lang Jiuling was strong, and even a bit stronger than Wei Gong, he was still far from Mu Jiki's level, someone who had defeated Wang Han. Ling Bai'er was matched against Sage Realm cultivator Jun Mo Bai, the one who had defeated first genius Yu An Yuan of the Sacred Ape family, so there was no doubt about the outcome of the match either. Lin Hai vs Xiang Qin would undoubtedly be a one-sided trampling. As for Shen Qingong vs Yu Bei, the second genius of the Great Cathedral, the outcome seemed predetermined as well. After all, Yu Bei's strength was on par with Wang Han and just a tad bit weaker than Xiang Qin's. If Yu Bei and Xiang Qin went head to head, it would be difficult to say who would be laughing in the end. Indeed, Ling Bai immediately forfeited after the results of a draw were announced. It wasn't out of consideration for another peer of her sect, but that she felt the opportunity to break through to the Sage Realm and voluntarily gave up the chance to fight, choosing to focus on the opportunity to break through instead. In Lin Hai and Xiang Qin's battle. Lin Hai decided to forfeit after probing his opponent a few times and realizing that there was no way he could triumph. As for Shen Qingong, he had no chance to win at all. 
He barely managed to put up a fight before Yu Bei's hurled him off the stage with a furious barrage of attacks. Lang Jiayuling actually put up a serious posture, as if he would settle the score with Mu Jiki. For him, there was no other reason than avenging his junior brother Li Zin. He refused to accept that his junior brother had been beaten so badly by a few punches that he surrendered. Therefore, he wanted to use his own fierce attacks and stunning speed to take on this Mu Jiki. The results showed that he was far too naive. No matter how fast he was or how fierce his attacks, Zhang Chen only needed to use the golden ore to nullify all of his attacks. He hurled Lang Jiayuling off the stage just like he'd done Li Zin, with just the power of his bare fists. Zhang Chen's performance once again won him applause from the audience. After all, the attitude that he was displaying wasn't so simple as one of a genius. It was one that caused others to wholeheartedly submit to him. He was always so coolly composed, so dashing. As long as his opponent didn't employ any extreme methods, then neither would he. Take Lang Jiayuling for instance, Zhang Chen could have used the soldier rosary beads to steamroll or the other, but he hadn't. Instead, he had used his bare fists instead. He used pure strength to thoroughly convince Lang Jiayuling of his defeat. This kind of advancement was more convincing than someone like Huang Han, who would use any method possible to win, and one that won Zhang Chen more support from others as well. Everyone knew now that the list of top four wasn't important anymore. They wanted to watch the finale of Xiang Qin vs. Mu Jiki. However, they were also curious if Mu Jiki would run into further great cathedral disciples as he advanced. Or would the two great cathedral disciples run into each other next, and the same for the two regal pill palace disciples as well? Zhang Chen actually rather wished that his next opponent was Jun Mo Bai. Ever since the palace head had mentioned him, Zhang Chen had paid more attention to him. He hoped to have the chance to examine Jun Mo Bai in a battle. However, the draw results disappointed everyone. The insane collision they hoped for didn't happen. They'd wanted the two great cathedral disciples to face their counterpart from the regal pill palace, and the strongest two would advance. However, the draw dictated Xiang Qin face Yu Bei's, and Mu Jiki face Jun Mo Bai. It would be an intersect battle. Zhang Chen was rather happy that the draw had followed his wishes. If Jun Mo Bai truly was as the palace head had said, then he would certainly be hiding his strength. When he thought of how Jun Mo Bai had defeated Yu On Yu On, the fourth genius of the Great Cathedral, it was an obvious sign that a newly ascended sage realm cultivator was performing above his level. Could there really be something amiss about him? That he's been hiding his strength all along? Zhang Chen was also incredibly curious. On the other hand, the Great Cathedral was a bit depressed. They'd hoped to avoid the clash and have Yu Bei's meet Mu Jiki. Mu Jiki would then have his strength chipped away, allowing Xiang Qin to meet a tired Mu Jiki in the finals. Only with this double insurance would a Great Cathedral solidly occupy their position as head of a myriad hidden dragon rankings. And yet, it was to be an intersect clash. The Great Cathedral could only hold an emergency meeting and finally compromise out of resignation, having Yu Bei's forfeit and guarantee Xiang Qin a place in the finals. Xiang Qin, this is a chance for us to rebuild the myriad empire. You must take the championship no matter what. Xiang Wenchen of the Great Cathedral gave a solemn order to Xiang Qin. Yu Bei's was from the Sacred Lion family, and his family head was equally as solemn. Bei's has sacrificed himself for the greater picture. Xiang Qin, you must acquit yourself well and not make his sacrifice meaningless. Xiang Qin nodded firmly and felt a heroic air stir in his heart. Don't worry everyone, I will most certainly be the champion of the rankings, 